Hello, Davina here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. I'm going to follow on from Caroline's how to quickly trace around an object by doing the same thing but showing you how you can cut that object from the background. But what I've got here is an arum lily and of course the background. Now you may want to trace this particular ob object because it's rather a nice shape and you may want to do something with that shape. So first of all, really this is recapping what Caroline said, but to go to the Bezier tool and click on somewhere on the object and very quickly just click around there. Make sure if it's going in that you go into there because it's a bit more difficult to put the curve in like that there, that point there, and and it's selected in the box. I'm going to make it a little bit, in, I'm going to enlarge it just so that you can see what I'm doing. And this is where you come to the node tool and you can see that there are various anchor points all around. And just taking the node tool and you're going to pull and if the anchor point isn't in the right place, you can click and drag it. And also, these little handles can change the, the curve as well, so you're tweaking it there. So if I go around... I wouldn't go too close to the edge if you're wanting to cut out the background, because it's very easy to bring some background with you. I'm just going to do it inside take that in because it's outside and this is a good example of and you can elongate the curve if you want or that way but I'm just going to take it in the middle to there and you can move it along and set it as you want to in fact you can move the anchor points as well so there there, there, move that along a little bit, that up to there, bring you in a bit, that's a good example of a curve that looks a bit odd, so we'll do this, this one as well. It does take a bit of um, practice playing around, but it is a lovely tool, the Bezier tool. And you can have quite a bit of fun with it. Um, just bring that in a bit because it's too close to the background and bring that in as well. As I say, I'm just taking it on the inside. So just to zoom out a bit so we've got a bit of room. And as Caroline said, what you've done is traced around and what we're going to do is just to show you that you've got that there, whoops, and there's the object. I mean, it's not a particularly interesting shape when it's like that, but you may have seen an object somewhere and thought, oh, I want to try that. And of course, what you can do with it is, as soon as you um, select it, and of course, you, you have to select on the line because this, in fact, there's nothing there, and you can put a colour in it. Or you could put a gradient, you could put some text or whatever. So that's the beauty of tracing the object and using it at a later date. But I said I would show you how to take the object from the background. So I'm going to use the undo history and just go back. It's here somewhere. There it is. So we've selected it all. And all we do now is you've that selected and hold shift down, select the background. So the two are selected, you go up to object and come down to clip, set, and there you have your alarm lily or whatever it is you want taken from the background. And if we hold control and it zooms off, doesn't it? We can see that the edge is preserved as well. 
I hope you found it useful. Um, if you have any comments, um, come to our fan page because it's really great to be able to share them with other people that come there and you will see the address after the video. Well, see you next time. Bye-bye.